Hey there, so this is going to be a different type of video. I don't usually do these type of videos on this channel anymore, but the more I've been thinking about what I can leave for my kids, the more I want to do like a daily upload of some kind, even if it's just some kind of motivational quote to keep me going because life sucks. It's been one thing after another. Last year, June 22nd, I lost my mom. In July of last year, the doctor I was working for left the company. In August last year, my grandfather passed away. In September of last year, I quit working for the health system I was working for. And then I got a job working at Walmart and 10 days after I quit, a kid got stabbed in the back and died. An 18 year old kid who was supposed to graduate with my son. So at my son's graduation this year, June, I had to go to my son's graduation and watch a memorial for a kid that shouldn't have died because somebody wasn't doing their job. And then in June, I got a job working for a caregiving company here and I got fired for doing the right thing. And then I just recently got fired <laughs> from a fast food place from being sick for four days. Four days. And they fired me. They want me to come to work sick. If you get sick and you can't figure out why, it's probably because somebody at the fast food place you were working at was sick and they gave it to you. Tell them, you know, tell them thank you. Um, so I have a new job I'm going to be starting next Monday. And I guess I'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'm pretty down in the dumps. Yesterday, I had... Me and my boyfriend Nate had found... Well, that's, that's a whole new ball game. You guys don't even know about that. Um... But anyways, me and my boyfriend Nate had went and heard kittens crying in my backyard. So we went looking and we found a litter of three kittens. Backtrack like a month ago, me and Nate had to take a kitten that we found in my backyard. It was a newborn to the vet clinic. <sighs> so we were afraid it wasn't going to make it. It was really cold that night and it was a newborn. It's still... It's okay now. Like, we took it to the vet clinic. Somebody fostered it. Well, I, I kind of started fostering these kittens. I've been feeding them. I went and got cat's milk. And I've been feeding them. And yesterday, one of the kittens died. One of the smaller kittens died. And I understand that that happens sometimes. I've had litters and had kittens die for no reason. No apparent reason, anyways. And, uh... I don't know, that, that one really stuck a, struck a chord with me. Yeah, struck a chord with me. Because I was trying to help it. So now I've stepped up my game. I'm assuming that the mom... I haven't brought them in or anything. I kind of left them where they were. We just made them a makeshift bed, gave them a heat lamp. And I've been feeding them. Because I'm kind of hoping that the mom will come back and take care of them. But I don't know if she is because they're very dirty. So I would assume if she was coming back that she would clean them. So I'm on the fence about bringing them in. My sister told me that I'm doing the best I can with what I'm working with. And I don't know. And I think I'm going to set up the GoPro and see if she's even coming in there. And if she's not, then I'm just going to bring them in the house so that they have a better chance. Since I am fostering them anyways, they'll do way better in the house. They're just kittens, <laughs> and they're so cute. But, uh, I don't know, I made a little list for myself. Oh, today's date is October 7th, 2024. And I already told you about all the new stuff that kind of currently happened up until today anyways. Um... I already kind of explained why I want to do this. I want my kids to 
not feel like they're ever alone. After I'm gone. Because even if you're surrounded by people, you can still feel alone. Especially when that... Especially when you lose, like, a parent. Like, really... It really messes with your head. So... I just want them to know they're not alone. Um... I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Too late. But anyways, I'm not gonna cry. You're not alone. Even if it seems like you are, you're not. You're not. Um, we are going to end with a daily motivational quote. I also want to do like a gratitude journal or a gratitude vlog later in the day just so I can reflect back on my day. So, we'll see. Okay, well, starting a whole new app and trying to set it up is... No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. Okay. These weren't even supposed to... I'm going to have to cut out all that. Okay. You are stronger than you think. You have gotten through every bad day in your life. And you are undefeated. Have a good day.